with winter weather comes tricky driving conditions. I'm Candace Hare live in Twin Falls where we hear what drivers can expect on the roads coming up. Planning on driving this Monday, be aware that construction on Interstate 84 will be resuming. Putting you first, I came to Oakley to visit with a Magic Valley woman who after nearly 20 years went back into the classroom in order to help her local school. And as details have started to trickle in, one thing we've realized is that the people inside this vehicle were incredibly lucky. They say their mission is to save the country from socialism. The Idaho Freedom Foundation, a think tank headquartered in Boise, has grown to be one of the most powerful forces in Idaho politics. I was on your side when I sat down with the organization's president, Wayne Hoffman, and no topic was off limits. Investigations continue in Haley as to who set the Croy Street Exchange, a building worth over $1 million ablaze, leaving it as nothing more than the rubble you see behind me. Around the Magic Valley, there are numerous locations that honor those who have served our country, not only on holidays, but every day of the year. A very scary day here in Rigby for everyone, not only involved with the school, but the community as well. You have to keep in mind, this is a city of under 5,000 people. When winter comes, so do winter driving conditions. And every year, the city of Twin Falls has to be ready to de-ice and plow the streets. Now, if you're like me and you waited until the last second to get your holiday shopping done, good news is you do have some options like Santa or a few of his reindeer down here. But two items here, they've been in hot demand. That's Christmas trees and commercial Christmas lights. 